are my friend Monday's first February first. Uh, today Bella is going to introduce our guest. Thank you. Our guest is Kelly McCarthy. Thank you so much for being here. So we'll intro for Kelly. Kelly's a CCSU alumni where she earned her bachelor's degree in education. She has worked as a CT certified teacher in Connecticut Public Schools for the past 25 years with experience working with students from pre-K all the way up to the college level. She holds a master's degree in educational leadership. Kelly is an advocate for human rights and recently completed a graduate certificate program focused on conflict, conflict management and negotiations in equity, inclusion, and social justice. She is a longtime volunteer for the One Organization a nonprofit global development and sustainability movement dedicated to ending extreme world poverty in all forms and strongly advocates for human rights, social justice, and educational equality. She has worked on many one organizations and uh, campaigns, I mean, including Electrify Africa, Girls Count, Poverty, Sexes, and the Fight Against HIV, AIDS, Malaria, and Tuberculosis. Kelly is currently the director of CCSU Drop-In Child Care Center. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so I have a PowerPoint presentation that we can go through and we should start talking about this. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks yeah, so much. Uh, so yeah, I just put together a little PowerPoint um, and help me go through all the different parts of the center. And then there's a whole bunch of pictures as well, which is um, great so that we'd be able to show everyone who hasn't had a chance to take a tour. Mm -hmm. awesome. Now this part isn't working. <laughs> so let's see, maybe it'll be this one now. Okay, so what are you? Okay, right here. Okay, awesome. Or you see the arrows in the left corner. Okay, so we, here we go. <laughs> we had our grand opening. Um, we opened this uh, fall semester, and that was so exciting. Um, this was our, our grand opening celebration. Okay. <laughs> and at the celebration, it, we had such a good time. We were so excited. Um, you can see that there, um, there were several of our students who were there. Of course, President Toro. Um, that there's a picture of one of our student parents, so it was very exciting for all of us. Oh, the tie dye t shirt, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> we had our little drummers, and so we had a little, uh, a little drum club, and they did a little presentation, and it was a lot of fun. They were, they were the stars of the whole day, <laughs> okay? So, um, you know, our vision, and this is truly the vision of President Toro. Um, she wanted to make sure that we had a place for student parents so that they could pursue their academic goals. And our center, we really tried to make sure that um, we are focused on social emotional learning, differentiated instruction, cultural responsive teaching. Our program is high quality. Um, we have preschool curriculum and um, we also provide enrichment for pre-kindergarten pre through 12 years old. So our drop-in care hours, um, Monday through Thursday, 10.30 to 3 p.m., uh, we have pre-kindergarten activities. So if you have children between the ages of three and five years old, between 10.30 and three, we're using our uh, pre-K curriculum, and then three to 
7.30, we're using our enrichment curriculum, and that's from 3 to 12 years old. And we are open on Fridays from 9 to 1, so that those hours are, are mostly geared towards pre-kindergarten. However, it, there may be some occasions where a student parent has a child that's older than that, and they need to bring their child for those hours, and we make ad adaptations. Um, we just normally, during those hours, would have pre-kindergarten. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that um, we wouldn't adapt for any age 3 through 12. So um, in order to register your child, um, the child is between the ages of 3 and 12 years old, especially for our pre-K students. We ask that they're bathroom independent. Um, you need to be a current CCSU student, faculty, or staff. Um, and you need to complete and submit all the documents, including the child enrollment form, emergency medical care authorization form, the parent slash guardian information packet and behavior management policy agreement, and the early childhood health assessment record. These are all available on our website. And once you submit all of the documents, you would su submit them directly to me at Kelly McCarthy at ccsu.edu. As soon as I get them, and I, I will send you a confirmation that says your enrollment has been completed, and we'll send you a welcome packet, which has all of the information that you would need to know um, as far as how to make reservations, where we're located, special parking, directions, everything that you need for your child's first visit and to prepare you. We'll send that to you. And then I'm just going to briefly go over our early childhood curriculum. Uh, we, we have an excellent pre-K curriculum. Um, we use the uh, creative curriculum for preschool. And our curriculum is purposeful play and inquiry-based approach to learning. We're student-centered, and we hit all of the subject areas, including social-emotional, cognition, math, social studies, language and literacy, science, technology, movement, music, and art. And we are strongly aligned with the Connecticut Early Learning and Developmental Standards. So there, um, this is the creative curriculum for preschool, and all of this is also on our website. So I'll go through fairly quickly, but anybody who wants to see a little bit more information, you can always just go right to the website. Um, we use the Hegarty Phonemic Awareness Pre-Kindergarten Curriculum, the Wilson Foundations Pre-K Program, and First Steps in Music and Beyond, and Castle Social Emotional Learning, and Character Development. So our, our pre-kindergarten curriculum is um, really uh, an excellent curriculum so that if you were using our program as um, a, pr a program that your child was going to all by themselves, they weren't attending any other programs, this would be um, very appropriate for anyone who's three and four year old. Um, if your child was also in a program outside of this program, it, we are able to enrich whatever it is that they're doing in any other program. Um, and so our daily activities are very similar to any other pre-K program where we have welcome, discovery activities, circle time, uh, we have learning centers, we have themed art activities, snack, outdoor exploration, read aloud, small groups, and closing circle. And our enrichment programs are after school, after you know a regular school day, um, so like the 3 to 7.30 p.m. Um, we have enrichment programs for 3 to 5-year-olds, 6 to 8, and 9 to 12. And this is just an example of some of the things that we may offer. Also on the website, you can find all of our policies and procedures, like our operating policies, everything that you need to know, closing plan, behavior management plan, all that kind of stuff is right on the website. And then if you needed to find out more information, you can always contact me. My name is Kelly McCarthy, and you can call me at my office phone, which is 832-2125, or my email address, kellymccarthy at ccsu.edu. 
And now I've got some pictures mm -hmm. of the center. A lot of people, if you haven't been to campus recently, then mm -hmm. you may not even know where we are, but we are in Carroll Hall. And this picture was actually taken prior to our outdoor playground being installed. So, and when you um, register, this is the front gate that is always locked, but when you become registered and it's time for you to bring your child, your blue card will give you access. So all registered parents will have access to this gate, which will bring them up to the front door of the center. And so then we go right down the wheelchair ramp. And then this is the entrance to our classroom. And then this is the, um, once you go through the, the double doors, this is a nice wide shot of our classroom. And then nice. This is, um, this happens to be our drama center in action. We've got some uh, very serious students who are, are studying very hard, um, doing some play-based learning. Um, this <laughs> is our language and literacy center. So um, we have lots of books and um, lots of fun things in there for students to do, whether they want to read a book or they want to look at pictures or they want to read you know, to a friend, like one of the stuffed animals. Um, but we also have like comfy soft seating. So it's a really great place for kids to choose to go and read a book. And then we have our writing center with lots of different writing materials. Um, we have lots of things for fine motor skills to help students get ready. Um, increasing their the strength and fine motor skills, getting them ready for um, learning how to write their letters. We have a building center and a math and science center. And of course, our drama center. I love it. That it is so cute. cute. When, when uh, the students first come in, we have a sensory table. And right now, that is actually filled. We're doing a buildings unit, so we have um, sand and all different types of bulldozers and you know just lots of fun things um, we when we can we try to incorporate whatever it is that we're doing in, in our theme of you know we'll usually do a theme every couple weeks so right now we're in our building theme but there's lots of things that can go in there um, we prior to the building season uh, the building theme we had a an arctic animals unit so there was all different kinds of fun stuff in there this is our circle center, and this is where we do, um, you know, we get together, we welcome everyone. This is a place where we can do weather and calendar, sing songs, do movement activities. Um, we read our books here and get ready for the, whatever the lesson is for the day. There's um, other places in our center where we can do small group activity, individual work, which is really nice because sometimes, um, you know, depending on the children that we have at, in our center, if we find that we need to do something special with someone, we can, we always have places where we can do some individual work. <clears throat> and then we have several teach, um, teaching assistants. And these are all students who are students here at Central Connecticut. They, most of them are in the either elementary or early childhood education programs, but we do also have some students who are working um, towards social work degrees, psychology degrees, and we do have one student assistant who's in our nursing program. So and you then, have a nurse then? Yes, we do. You always have, you always have a nurse from the well, it de it depends. I mean, um, we 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 hire people who apply. So, and it just happens that you know, in our pool of candidates, one happened to be um, in the nursing program. So, and she just loves children. So. Mm -hmm. nice. And then, um, like I said, we have our outdoor learning space. So we have this really cool. Um, this is all brand new. That we just got this all in in the fall. All got installed. So. We've got our cool little playhouse. We have a farmer's market. We have an outdoor mud kitchen and we have a sandbox. We also have an outdoor easel, um, some musical instruments. We've got um, chimes and we've got drums. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really cool. 
And then the when we're all done using the center, go out the same way that you came. Um, and it's it's really nice because it's very secure. All of our do doors are locked. Everybody needs a blue card to get in through the entrance and they have to be um, registered. So um, once you send in all of your enrollment information, we get your blue card working so that you can have access to that front page. And so that is, um, that's really the entire PowerPoint. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer any specifics. If you want, we can leave this up for I have a question. Sure. Um, is the center open in the summer? The center is open in the summer, and we're not, we are in the process right now of putting together our summer program. So we're, we're working on that, and as soon as we have that approved, we'll get that out to everyone so that they know. Mm -hmm. um, one very important thing that I forgot to mention is that if you are a student enrolled here at CCSU and you want to use the center, it is free of charge. So, that was my next question. Yeah. <laughs> is it included like in the tuition or something? It's There's no additional okay. cost. So all student parents, and if you're taking one class or you're taking many classes, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's free of charge. You do, as a student parent, need to be on campus. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be attending a class. You could be, um, you can be in the library. You could be um, at an on-campus meeting. You could be doing research. You could be meeting with um, a counselor. You could be meeting with a professor. It doesn't matter as long as you stay on campus. Okay. And there is there is a four hour limit, so we're not a daycare program. Yeah. We're we're a drop in program, which means that if you have classes on campus or some other type of campus business that you're um, working on, you can make reserva reservations to bring your child. And um, there is, like I said, there is a four hour limit, but um, we do have some students who have a class during the day and they pick up their child and then come back for a class in the afternoon. So it's it doesn't have to be four hours all at once. It's four hours throughout the day. So we try really hard to accommodate all of our student parent schedules. Yeah, you can't just like um, have like drop your child off and then go somewhere like off campus. Yeah. No, you can't. Okay. Um, not. I mean, not at this time. That's yeah. that's that's um, how our policy is well, right now. That makes sense. But you know, like you said, a daycare. So. Yeah. What yeah. about on days where your child has no school? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, we we do have several parents who have children that are either in a preschool program or in um, a school aged program, and there will be times when there's no school. As long as our center is open, as long as the campus is open, we're he we're here, and you can schedule. Um, you can reserve space for your child to come. Again, it's still a four hour limit, but yes. Um, we follow the academic calendar. So if, if the school, if we're open and there are classes, even if there aren't classes in a public school somewhere, we are available. Okay, because they get more days off than mm -hmm. like college mm -hmm. colleges do. Yeah, mm -hmm. like so. just this year, like election day, we were busy because we had a lot more people who needed some support on that day. And the other thing is there's some, there are many early release days for mm -hmm. teacher um, different yes. meetings. Oh, yeah. And so on those days, it makes it hard. Yes. So yes, we are available. We, um, we do have several faculty members that will request a reservation. And right now, we have the availability. So we're able to do that. Um, we may get to the point where we're so busy that we might have to limit that because students do have priority, but right now it's not a problem and we're able to accommodate the needs of our faculty and staff. Is this really a question, but I just wanted to say like, I think it's amazing that you guys offer this and I did not realize how big it was or like everything that like you had at the center. Wow. And it's very cool that you use capsules because I'm getting mean, my master's in counseling and we've learned mm -hmm. a lot about like the importance of social emotional yeah. learning. So starting that young, it's mm -hmm. very cool. And then I know we talked about this before, like we started recording, but do you want to share like how many students you have there? Because I think that's a pretty cool fact. Um, so in 
in September, we had we were um, we had about 30 registered families, and that was a lot because we really opened right at the beginning of the semester. So there weren't a lot of people who really knew about it. So we were we were very happy to have 30 um, 30 families that we were able to support. And then since the spring semester, we have picked up our registration. So we're excited because um, we're really starting to see the program grow, where um, especially in the evening, we have several children that are with us from you know, 3.30 to 7.30. And um, you know, we just hope that we continue to grow. We have a lot of services that we feel can really be helpful to student parents. Um, just for example, we have um, a nine and an 11 year old that come three times a week. And what's wonderful is that mom drops off the children and we have the ability to help them get their homework done. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. That's what she that's what she said when we came. We were like, you know, make sure that you bring their homework, make sure that you bring everything that they need, because we have staff that will sit down and provide tutoring services or just be with them so that they can finish their um, homework get their reading done, all of these things. It's something that the parents don't have to worry about because it's a long night. Mm -hmm. They're getting out of classes at mm -hmm. 7.15 and they want to go home, they're tired. The last thing that they're going to want to do is start homework, the children or the parents. It's just, it's nice to know that yeah. that's taken care of. That's one thing taken off their plate. And, that's um, amazing because they'll go home and have mm -hmm. dinner and then, yeah. then it's yeah. bedtime. Yeah. And, and it's bedtime. It's bedtime routine. Exactly. Without having to. Yeah. Not have well. to worry. And it's nice because, you know, parents, they're going to their classes, they come and it's done. It's not something that they have to go home and worry about because they know it's done. Yeah. Wow. Well. And when they, if they finish their homework early, we have enrichment programs. So when they're done with their homework, they know that they're starting to work on their next activity. So, um, and incentive. <laughs> it's incentive and they, they enjoy it. They really, really do. So wow, I never realized how big it is inside mm -hmm. and all the different aspects yeah. that are provided. Are different. Yeah. And so that's, that's one of the reasons why I'm so glad that you guys invited um, us to be here because we want everyone who can use the service to know. And it does take a little while for this to get out there, but we truly believe this is a huge game changer mm -hmm. for parents for women, who thought, <laughs> for women, because a lot of the times they are the ones who are taking care of the children, but we have, we have fathers oh, too. too. We have both mothers and fathers who are using us um, so that they can go to school and, you know, either earn that degree or earn that certificate or just get whatever it is that they need. And it helps them to, you know, find positions that um, are more fulfilling to them um, or just helps them to maybe um, compete with uh, others that are looking for jobs and makes them, you know, really great candidates for things that they're trying to find employment. So it's, it is, it's exciting. We are thrilled. We're thrilled to be able to do this. Yeah, I don't know many schools that offer this. So like if I ever had a child and I was trying to pick a college to go to, like I'm sure it would be very high up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. Yeah. That's what we're <laughs> hoping for. We hope everyone who thought maybe it wasn't possible to see it is. Mm -hmm. And we're here, we're here to support you. We do everything that we can to make sure that um, we can help whatever schedule it is that the parent has we even we have special parking because we know awesome. that they're coming you know they're coming they might be coming from work um they're probably coming from picking up their child from school or something like that rushing to get here we have special parking so that they can get in sign their child in and then if they need to um get back to their car and move to another place on campus where their classes we have special parking so that they can pull right up do that get back out and um, it just, every little bit helps when you're a student parent. Mm -hmm. Every little bit helps. I'm so glad you thought about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad you thought about it. 
Where is the parking? Is it um, in the um, so Willard Dealer area? We, yeah, there's the we have the parking garage at Willard Dealer Meadow, but it, right across there is um, a parking yeah. lot, oh, and yeah. that's mostly um, handicap parking. But we have two spaces that are 15 minute parking, so you can and you can pull right up to where the sidewalk is, park your car, bring your child in through the front gate, sign them in come back out and then you mm -hmm. can drive off or even if you're just part if you want to move to park in the parking garage it just helps you get your child in a little bit quicker mm -hmm. game changer for sure <laughs> it's a game changer so yes we need to get the word out mm -hmm. yeah. and if anybody needs any information please and i brought some cards so that i can give them to you as nice. well contact us um, we are happy to give a tour um, we're happy to, you know, help with any information, any questions that anybody has. We're here. Um, going off of case information, um, I'm a history PhD major, so I'm studying to be a secondary head teacher. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like, you know, things like seeing, like, um, so right now we're learning about um, culturally responsive teaching and mm -hmm. that. So that was really cool to see yeah. that actually the training mm -hmm. is like, yeah. It's a huge part of our curriculum, very important to us. And what is Electrify, Electrify Africa and Poverty is sexist? Um, those are programs that are part of one. <clears throat> so, um, yes, I, I'm a volunteer, I'm a longtime volunteer for the one organization. And, and um, the, the goal of the one organization is to eradicate poverty in all forms all over the world. And so there are many campaigns over the years that they've worked on. Electrify Africa was one of them um, that I, I happened to work on. And it was to you know, make sure that electric, um, Africa had electricity. There's many places that don't have electricity and that made it difficult um, you know, for so many different reasons. But even just the fact that if there were vaccines that needed to be refrigerated, you know, um, or, you know, people, uh, students who were walking to school or walking to get water, um, it, it's just very dangerous. As soon as, you know, it was dark, it was very, very dangerous. So that was a campaign that I worked on uh, quite a bit, quite a long time ago. And then um, Poverty is Sexist, that whole campaign um, really relates to Women um, around the world aren't able to get their education. Um, it's poverty is sexist because um, it really affects women a little bit more. Um, they, they may not be able to go to school. They may not be allowed to go to school. They may have to stay home and help take care of their family. They may need to walk you know, several miles to go get water so they can't go to school. So um, Poverty is Sexist is a campaign. It's a global campaign. And um, it really was to advocate for the rights of women and make sure that they were able to um, get their education so that they could be, you know, provide for their family, be self-sustainable, all those kinds of things. And um, you know, it, was, it was something that uh, I, in 2017, they, we, I was invited to go um, with my, at the time, my humanitarian club, and we went to the United Nations building, and we were able to do a walk-in with the one organization, and we were able to um, meet with many dignitaries um, Deputy Secretary Amina Mohammed, um, several survivors from Boko Haram, and we were able to have discussions about how important it is to make sure that education is accessible to everyone, especially women. Amazing. That's really good. Thank you. Well, that's part of, and that's part of the reason why I feel so passionate about the center, and um, I'm so lucky, so privileged to be a part of you know, being able to bring us here to Central and to all the students. For sure, it's very exciting. Like, I, I don't have kids, but I've been 
I remember just seeing the emails for Last of Us, and I was like, wow, this is really nice. So I do read those emails. And someday you may be in a position where you um, have a family and you wanted to get a graduate degree or a certificate, you know, continue continue your education. It really, this didn't, this type of program didn't exist when I was getting my master's and I had young children. So this truly, it's, it's a Same big here. deal. I it's have a bachelor's year. and then after that I have yeah. to stay at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. The kids, I could put them in daycare, but you know, at the time. That's, most people don't want to do that. So yeah. expensive. Mm -hmm. It's so expensive. This for student parents, it's, it's free. There's no charge. And you don't have to. A lot of the parents who I've spoken with have said, I don't even feel guilty mm -hmm. about my children don't want to leave here. Oh. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's great because it takes away that parent guilt like, oh, and I know I had it. You probably had it as well. We're spending so much time working on, um, you know, another certificate or uh, another degree and it takes a lot of time away from our children and we have a lot of guilt we know we're doing it for the right reasons but we still have the guilt and so we feel like this is really um, something that can help families with a lot of different you know, a lot of different yeah. barriers i think it's also nice to know that they're close by because we're all on campus yeah. anyways yeah it's so, such a yeah. wonderful thing to mm -hmm. the space stop by in between classes mm -hmm. or like there just to yeah. check on them or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels like safe. It feels mm -hmm. like very safe. Because you're within yeah. such a distance. Yeah. It's nice. It's really nice. We're all on the same team. You know, and the parents know it. They feel it. And so do the children. They really do. Um, she um, is um, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. John Lewis Scholars. Oh, cool. Hi. 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 Hi.
it takes a little bit off their plate so that they're not in it alone. You, now you have a team <laughs> supporting you and your family. I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I wasn't sure, but now I'm 100% sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I have a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, like, and uh, even yes. if you're not sure if you're going to use it, it's a good idea to register because if you have an emergency, it's too late. We need to have you registered so then we've got all of your paperwork on file and in the event that something comes up and you need support you can then just send me a quick email and i can you know i can if we have space we can put you on put you in the system yeah. and right now we do right now we do i mean i do believe that there will be a time when we're not going to have the availability that we have now so, um, and as your um, program expands, um, do you obtain more help from the School of Education? Uh, do you get more student workers, or how does it work? Um, so we we provide employment for students uh, who are you know students of CCSU. They apply for a position, and um, more, one of the things that we do look for are students who are in the field of education. Um, because we want to be able to give them that experiential learning. So, um, you know, it, as the program grows, we, we will try to adapt to meet the needs of, you know, of the program, of all the people that need support. Um, right, right now, we're in a position where we have space available. I just think that once the word gets out, I don't know how long that will last, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything that you guys are doing and for helping to get the word out. It's going to help so many people. It's really exciting. Mm -hmm. This is a great opportunity. It's yeah. going to help more with like ingest for people. That's that. right. All right.